Hey what's good everyone it's Inu here and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can make this really cool 3D looking banner on your Android device. It's actually pretty easy and it's a really cool banner so I would like to share with you guys how you can make it and without taking longer let's get started in the video. So the first thing that you have to do is to go ahead to the description below and download this app. It's called Screener. It's free application on Google Play Store. I already made a video about it, so the link will be down in description below. As you can see, it says flat here, but since we are looking to make a 3D banner, we are going to press on those three buttons on the top left corner of the screen and go ahead and press on this 3D option, which you will find it on the manual list. And as you can see, it's going to give you some 3D device templates. There is not a lot of devices right over here but choose the one that you like i'm going to be choosing google nexus 5 and press on the device it's going to allow you to choose any photo to apply into your device and of course you can go ahead and choose the screenshot of your youtube channel if you want so as you can see you can go ahead and press on this button as well it's going to give it this uh, reflection um, effect on the screen which looks pretty realistic and then go ahead and press on this button on the bottom which is the color selecting uh, uh, button so go ahead and press on it and choose this uh, transparent option and as you can see it's going to make the background uh, transparent which is going to make it really easier for you to edit so then go Go ahead and save the uh, photo and it will be saved into your gallery so as you can see i did the exact same thing but this time instead of applying my twitter uh, my youtube uh, screenshot i did apply my twitter screenshots so you can just put wherever social media you want it depends on what you guys like Okay, so once all of your 3D screenshots are safely saved into your gallery, you need to go ahead and open up Photoshop Touch. Of course, if you guys don't have this app, I will provide a link in the description below where you can go ahead and download this app. Of course, it's for free. You can go ahead and get it from the description below. Once you guys download this, go ahead and import on it a banner uh, template that I'm also going to put a link in the description below where you can download it. The banner template looks something like this. So as you can see, it have in the middle this uh, empty area. Of course, we are going to be needing it um, in this tutorial later on. I will show you uh, why we are going to be using it. So for now, go ahead and just add a brand new empty layer by pressing on this plus button. And as you can see, it says empty layer. Press on that button. And as you can see on this area, it appears this empty layer. So go ahead and just put your finger on it and drag it down below our uh, template and then once you guys are actually done go ahead again and press on that plus button right there and this time go ahead and press on photo layer to add your uh, screenshots and obviously because we used the screener to make these 3d screenshots of course you're gonna find them on the uh, screener folder which is right over here so just search about this folder and press on it and it's going to show you all of the screenshots that you made so those are the last two uh, screenshots that i made i'm going to be using the youtube uh, screenshot first so go ahead and press on it and as you can see it will give it to you just like this and go ahead and resize it on whatever size you want and put it uh, from one of the sides of this empty area right over here and of course be sure that the size of your screenshot isn't too big so the people will actually know that this is your channel so if you build like a lot bigger people will not notice that this is screenshot of your channel so be sure to be uh, precise with your size of your screenshots and from the other side i did the exact same thing but the second screenshot which is the screenshot of my uh, twitter page so as you can see it's looking pretty good make sure that you uh, put the screenshots in the exact same size so that way to look more professional and now you're gonna go ahead and add the name of your channel you can use fonto which is an app that's going to allow you to put uh, to actually make uh, texts uh, with really cool fonts if you guys would like to see how to make uh, text just like this i will leave a link in the description below where it's going to guide you to my tutorial on how to make texts just like this so go ahead and visit the link in the description below you will find that tutorial and of course as you can see right over here i'm adding my uh, youtube channel name and below that i did add a text which says follow and subscribe so the people will go ahead and follow my twitter and subscribe to my youtube channel as well now as you can see the text doesn't look that great uh, the people cannot really like read it so now in order to make it look good we are going to add some shadow in order to do that go ahead and select this layer which is supposed to be on the top 
press on this button and go ahead and press on this button right over here and as you can see it's going to give you those options press marriage down and now we will have a layer that contains all of your our text so all you have to do go ahead and press on this button right here and press on drop share um as you can see it's going to give you this effect panel so um all you have to do is gonna go ahead and go down right here and make sure the distance is zero and the blur is around three or five and then go ahead and add the shadow effect again so go ahead and add it around like three or four times until you think that the text is good enough to read i think i'm gonna just uh, i'm gonna add this only one more time and yeah i think that is pretty good i'm going to also just change the position of it because i think uh, i'm gonna put it on the center so that way it's going to look more professional and now for the last step, uh, we are going to be adding a background into our banner. So to do that, press on this empty layer and press on this plus button, press on photo layer and choose any background that you think it will look good on your banner. I have this uh, background right over here. If you guys would like to download it, I will list it down below in the description. You can also get this background right over here. Um, I think we are going to be adding a gesture blur into the background so it's going to give it the depth of a field effect into it as you can see so I think I will give it around 4 or uh, 5 um, just make sure you don't give it like a crazy amount of blur otherwise it's going to look so ugly so I really don't like the color because of that I'm going to be using the color balance option to balance between the colors and get a perfect color that I want. To be honest I'm more into a bluish green um, color so that look for and you guys can also change it if you want but it really depends on your taste. So as you can see we are pretty much finished with this background. All you have to do next is you're gonna go ahead and deactivate the uh, banner template that, uh, that we added in the beginning of this tutorial which will be located in the top of our layers which is this one right here. So go ahead and press on this button right over here and as you can see um, it disappeared. Um, it kind of looks ugly when you remove it but when you apply it to the YouTube uh, banner it's going to change the aspect ratio of it so the only visible part for the Android users is going to be this part in the middle so this is why we actually used it so I think this is all for me for now I think that this looking pretty good if you guys like it you can go ahead and make it and I will leave all the things that you need in the description below of this video thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy it go ahead and please go ahead and drop a like down below i will appreciate it so much if you guys don't know my channel go ahead and subscribe down below i will appreciate that as well thank you guys so much for checking me out um i'll see you guys next time peace out